it's about time. What's going on? Yeah. Rumor Report, Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, we told you this story before about Kiki Palmer versus Trey Songs, where she said she was in his house and she was at a party that he invited her to and she somehow ended up in his music video. If you don't remember, here's a little recap. They start playing a song that I happen to be in. They start saying like they want me to be in it. One person asks me, I say no. Another person asks me, I'm like, no. People keep asking me. Now, mind you, they've been giving food. They've been giving drinks. And I'm just starting to feel like, yo, I'm being like cornered. like, And I'm not in a professional situation. I'm being pressured to do business. And I'm not in the right mind. mind. I'm under the influence. And I don't feel like it's fair that I'm having to deal with this right now. All right. Well, guess what she's planning to do now? She's planning to take some legal action against Trey Songz. Yes. Mm. She actually told um, Larry King that she did not know her likeness would be used in his music video, Pick Up the Phone, and she thought she was just at a regular party. She said she did see a camera, but thought it had nothing to do with her. She said she denied access to her image three times, and she said, I wasn't in the right mind. I had been drinking and eating, and it wasn't a professional environment. She said it was sexual intimidation. She said a female is put in situations sometimes where males use their masculinity, their sexuality to taunt you. She said she would do pursue that legal action until... Um, is, is that a thing, though, sexual intimidation? I thought sexual intimidation was like when you intimidate somebody to have sex with you. Well, I think, no. No, I don't think that's what it is. I mean, I've, I haven't heard sexual intimidation Me neither. really yeah, used I've in a lawsuit like this. Never heard but I guess that. she felt like she was just intimidated because he was a man, she was a woman. And so she means gender know. when she says sexual, probably. Yeah, it gotcha. doesn't mean that he tried to have sex with her or anything. Gotcha. I wonder she why they couldn't have a conversation, though. And it's over. But more so, my point isn't to say it's not about this person, this guy, and what he did. It's the overall idea that you can't just do stuff to people, and it's all right no matter who you are. I know I'm getting... The video's taken down. I'm getting a lot of... I'm having more empathy as, as I get older. I can't be mad at Kiki. I saw people online yesterday slandering her. I'm like, we don't know how she felt. Right. Clearly, she felt the way for if she's going through with a lawsuit. But they took the video down, and it's not being sold. It was a, it was a mixtape. Yeah. Well, can we talk about how high she was, though? When she said she was under the influence and she went to go hide in the closet, she was smoking that stuff, bro. Right. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see what happens with that. Now let's discuss an audio series. It's a 10-part weekly audio series, and that series stars Tika Sumter, Tracy Ellis Ross, Wood Harris, Omari Hardwick. Uh, other people are in it, like Corey Hardrick. Wow. Our guy Atheon Crockett is in it, Brittany Snow, Lawrence Fishburne. And it's also going to be written by Josh Olsen, who did A History of Violence. What is this? It's an audio series. Don't it sound dope? Oh, Sounds audio dope. series. Okay, got you, got you. Yes, it's a weekly audio series. It's going to be on uh, Spotify, on iTunes, and it looks into Chicago's policy games of the 1940s. It's going to chronicle the lives of players in the lottery games and talk about the African-American residents in Chicago that were self-sustained mm. in the community. So, is audio series the new fancy way to say podcast? It's not a podcast. It's like a scripted audio series. Like Serial was? It's a podcast. Nah. No, it's not a podcast. Mm. Mm. It's written. It's scripted. It's scripted. They yeah. got scripted podcast. That's what Serial is. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Well, they're calling it a 10-part weekly audio series. So it sounds pretty exciting. Some heavy hitters oh, on Oh, fancy there. asses. It's a podcast. <laughs> All right. Mary Tyler Moore. Rest in peace to Mary Tyler Moore. She has passed away at the age of 80 years old. You know her from the Dick Van Dyke Show and also from the Mary Tyler Moore Show. I can't wait to get that old. I can't wait to get so old to where people, when you die, they be like, damn, I thought they was already dead. Because I damn sure thought Mary Tyler Moore was already dead. I she won no seven Emmy Awards. She was a television producer. She was a symbol of feminism. And she just passed away yesterday, a month after turning 80 years old. Okay? Now, uh... Why is Steve Harvey in trouble yet again? I don't know if you guys saw this story, but there is a potential uh, video or audio that could be leaked out. Now, a man named Joseph Cooper, who was a videographer who once worked with Steve Harvey, is trying to get $5 million from him. What Uncle Steve then did? He has some tapes of him where he says that Steve Harvey is going off about white people. He said that he was saying things like, spit on white people, go assault white women. And that was all during some of the shows that he performed at a Dallas comedy club. (laughs) So Steve Harvey actually had to go to court to argue over who owns and who can release this footage. This footage is 20 years old, by the way, and it's in a comedy club. Oh, Oh. come on. Stop it. Knock it off. Right. So Beat it. 
Steve, um, when he took the stand, said, I had just had this cloud over my career that he's created over me. He's just relentless. I've got more to lose as I get bigger. And in this business, image is everything. So he's been shopping these tapes around for years. And uh, Steve Harvey has been trying people, trying to convince people not to hire him or anything. Are you really going to judge a man based off his behavior 20 years ago? And, 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 and what something he said in a comedy in club. A comedy. When comedy. It was, when, it's when, hard to take anything seriously and in a comedy club. Character. We live in a very PC mm-hmm. era now. 20 years ago, those comedians was getting on stage saying all kind of anything. wild, reckless stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. But Steve Harvey still doesn't want those tapes to come out. I can imagine. Clearly. Yeah, all right. Probably because the jokes weren't that funny. He's way funnier now, 20 years later. Don't put out my old stuff. Well, he said it's because of his image as well. You don't want to. He wouldn't have done those jokes now. Drop one of clues, Bob, Steve Harvey. That's a real N word. I don't care what nobody say. Mm -hmm. Salute to Uncle Steve. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning. Tune in.